these different things that I have access to when I'm, when I'm conscious. And so this somehow requires that different parts of the brain talk to each other, at least uh, on, on, on these t uh, brief time scales. And it, it may well be that the claustrum is, is one of these critical structures because it does have the, the wiring. So this is a pure hypothesis based on the, on the, on the neural anatomy. So here, Francis Crick is following his, what was so successful when he and um, Dr. Jim Watson did this for, for DNA, that structure and function are clearly related. That if you look at a highly evolved uh, system, organ like the brain, when you have this unique structure, it probably has a unique function, and that you may be able to infer the function from its structure. In this case, because it has this widespread connection, we've surmised, and we've written his last article on it, um, that uh, it's like the conductor. This is sort of the analogy. It's, it's not a theory. It's an analogy. It's like the conductor that it synchronizes among the different parts of the, of the cortex, and it sort of it, it keeps them all in, in synchrony. And um, yeah, Francis wrote this, in fact, two hours before he passed away in, in the hospital. He was dictating corrections to that paper to uh, his secretary. So it's a remarkable man. Um, till the end, till the very bitter end, he loved science, and um, that's what he wanted to do. And and he felt this was his last contribution that he that uh, that he could make. Very remarkable. <laughs>